Dear Elliot, right now you are two months from being born. We just found out that you have trisomy 18, also called Edward syndrome. Doctors tell us that you won't likely make it to birth. Your mom and I are praying against that. We're praying for healing. We are praying for nothing less than a miracle. You are our first child, and the day of your birth couldn't come sooner. Dear Elliot, you were born today weighing in at six pounds. You are already a miracle to us. Your mom is doing well, and it looks like we'll be hanging out here at the hospital a little longer. Dear Elliot, today you turned 11 days old. We are so proud of you. Today we celebrated your 11th birthday. In fact, we do that every day at 4.59, the time you were born. Dear Elliot, we've been home for a week now, so that's why you don't see your nurses anymore. It's great to have you home. Today I think we'll pack up everything and take our first venture out for coffee. Dear Elliot, I don't know if you've noticed, but you're connected to some tubes. The doctors say we have to keep these in so you can get oxygen to breathe. You are also fed through a feeding tube. We feed you every three hours and it takes an hour and a half to do it. We've loved learning how to best take care of you. We love it. Lots of people email, call, and send cards on your behalf. You're well loved. It's 11 at night right now and my feeding shift has just begun. Mom is asleep and the best part of my day has begun. My shift ends around 4.45 a.m. when your mom takes over. She cherishes her mornings with her boy. Today you turn one month old. I didn't know if I'd ever get to say that. To top off the day, 20 friends showed up at the door for a true surprise birthday party for you. They sang, brought balloons, and a birthday cake. It was beautiful chaos. At 2 a.m. this morning, your feeding tube came out. We had been warned this may happen eventually. We quickly realized we did not have a stethoscope, which was necessary to replace the tube. Since our neighbor was a nurse, I went ahead and knocked on their door at 2.30 a.m. They found their stethoscope and your mom went to it. After much wrestling, praying, and your tears, the tube was down and you were able to feed. Just so you know, your mom is my hero. Dear Elliot, you now weigh seven pounds, three ounces. You're growing and your food has been bumped up because of your good appetite. You continue to find new ways to steal our hearts. Dear Elliot, today marks two months of your life. Your mom and I are so thankful we know you. We know your face, your noises. We know that bath time and massage are your favorite daily activity. You finally learned how to suck your thumb by yourself. Because of trisomy 18, you were born with clenched fist and being able to do this is actually quite difficult. Way to go, son. Dear Elliot, we celebrate your birthday every day with a picture. Lately, we've tried to get a bit more creative. Dear Elliot, I realize you can get frustrated with your tubes and your frequent congestion. Please know that your mom and I are doing everything we can to make you comfortable. Dear Elliot, well you tipped the scales today at eight pounds, 14 ounces, quite an accomplishment. You also have managed to grow a pretty decent mullet. Dear Elliot, we all got to go to a reunion at the hospital. I've never seen your mom more happy. The joy she felt getting to show off her son can't be described with words. In fact, she compared it to the way a mother would feel when her son becomes president or wins a Heisman or develops a cure for cancer. The logic of medicine says you shouldn't be alive, but you are. You are such a fighter. Dear Elliot, you have now passed the three month mark. You also got your first cordless pictures taken today. No feeding tube, oxygen, or stickers. This was no small accomplishment, but we got it done. Have I told you lately that we are so proud of you? Dear Elliot, today you went to be with Jesus. An underdeveloped lung, a heart with a hole in it, and DNA that plays faulty information into each and every cell of your body could not stop God from revealing himself through a child who never uttered a word. Not a pulpit, not a slick presentation, not a best-selling book, but a six-pound boy with trisomy 18. 
God found great pleasure to take a lowly thing in the eyes of the world and show truth. At your funeral, we released 99 balloons, each balloon representing a day of your life. How beautiful it was to watch, how quickly they were gone. And so today, we celebrate. Elliot, you are well, and although we miss you more than we can express, we're only separated from you by our time left on earth. See you soon, son, mom and dad. Thank you.